It is a truth universally acknowledged that a single man in possession of a good fortune must be in want of a wife. If these lines sound familiar, it's because they open one of the world's favourite novels, Pride and Prejudice. Despite being written more than 200 years ago, the words are as fresh and gently ironic as when the lady responsible for their creation committed her thoughts to paper. During her lifetime, she maintained her anonymity, but for modern-day romantics, her name is synonymous with dashing, handsome heroes and feisty, captivating heroines, and no one would have been more surprised to discover this than the lady herself. We are, of course, talking about Jane Austen, one of literature's greatest authors, and as images of elegant ballrooms, empire line dresses and red-coated soldiers spring readily to mind, there is a sense of warmth and delightful Englishness that no other writer, before or since, has ever quite been able to capture. The ability to paint a picture with words that is as lasting as any masterpiece in a grand art gallery is a rare talent, but one that Jane Austen most definitely possessed. Although it isn't every reader who picks up a Jane Austen novel for the first time and falls in love with both the story and the storyteller, they do tend to be few and far between, especially if Pride and Prejudice happens to be the book they have selected. Charlotte Bronte found her passionless, while D. H. Lawrence condemned her as thoroughly unpleasant English in the bad, mean, snobbish sense of the word, which to this day has the devotees of Miss Austen seething with the injustice. The fact is, ever since the publication of Sense and Sensibility in 1811, Love her or hate her, the lady who launched Marianne and Eleanor Dashwood on an unsuspecting readership has been a talking point ever since. 